your mind. You can see you can be in the house of God under the umbrella of anointing, but you still better learn how to rebuke the wondering of your mind. Yes, God. Amen. Amen. Because your thoughts will run the hither, thither, and ever with it. Say amen. 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 So get yours together. Get, get yours together. together. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. That's right. Will not be so privileged, please, and proud to sign it for you. Glory to God. And I have to sign every book. How many books do I have to sign? I said, how many books do I have to sign? I've got to sign every book. So, amen. Bless God. Today, the book is free, but my signature is $12. <laughs> <laughs> Touch your name and say, you get it in the shower. You get it in the shower. Yeah, in the shower. Yeah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Do you love him? Yes. Do you appreciate that man from Galilee? Yes. The book of Luke, chapter 22. Luke 22. Hallelujah. Luke chapter 22. And I'm going to begin reading to you, beloved, at uh, verse number one. When you get it, say, I got it. I got it. Luke 22 and verse <coughs> Jesus. Do you hear me? Yes. Oh my God, thank you. Oh my God, thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Make that Luke 18 and verse number one. Luke 18 and verse one. When you get a sack, I got it. And he spake a parable unto them to this end. That men are always to pray and not, not faint. faint. Glory to God. Did you hear that? Yeah. Hallelujah. Hi, Sharon. First Peter. Peter chapter number five. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. First Peter 5. First Peter 5 and verse number 8. Verse 8. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, yes. as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour, whom resist steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren in the world. Hallelujah. For the sake of time, I'm going to stop there. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, kind sir, for the privilege and opportunity once again to become heaven's mouthpiece. The spiritual layers on to bring heaven and earth together. Speak now, Lord, for thy servants gathered together and hear. I pray today, God, that you would allow my words to become apples of gold, to fall into these your precious pictures of silver. I pray that most of all, the eyes of our understanding be enlightened. Sin of clarion call. Lord Jesus Christ, let this word become a springboard to thrust us back into the place where you want us. Yes, Lord. Let the Christ of the Bible be glorified. Yes, Lord. And every hearing that the Father, in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Saints of God, I'm going to minister some of message and I'm going to get right out of the way for the hours far spent. Amen. But God stirred my heart concerning this word that I'm about to minister. I thought I was going to minister something else, but God stirred me. He woke me up early this morning. And so I met him in prayer and started to speak to my heart concerning the body of Christ Amen. and the things that we stand in need of. <laughs> See? Amen. Glory to God. Because we're living in we're living in an amen trying time. The Apostle Paul prophesied to his son, Timothy, he said, Timothy, he said, perilous times. Amen. Perilous times would come. But I believe if the Apostle Paul was here, he would not say that perilous times would come. Amen. But rather, perilous times are here. Amen. Amen. Say amen. 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 Isaiah prophesied about this hour when he said, Amen. Bless God. There's coming an hour that amen. Gross darkness would be upon the earth and upon the people. Say amen. Amen. This is that hour. Amen. For the coming of the Lord draws nigh. The closer that the light comes, the darker it's getting. Yes. Before the break of day. Say amen. Amen. God stirred my heart. And he said, 
son, many of my people don't understand the magnitude of the hour we're living in. They don't understand. Amen. Bless God that being saved and having the uh, anointing of God, the power, the presence, and the purpose of God resident in their life yes, is more than just a jump and a shot. Come on now. It's more than a chill and a thrill. It's more than spiritual entertainment. Do you understand? He said, tell them it's more than just coming out to make a check and say that I made it to a particular place and now I can run on and keep doing what I was doing. No, no. They don't Understand that they are literally being sought, on, being sought after. They are being prayed upon. Are you listening to me today? I'm gonna preach a message. I want you to turn to your neighbor and say, "Neighbor, neighbor, pray, pray, or become a prey, or become a prey, or become a prey. Woo! Pray or become a prey. My God." Now find the real name and say, hey. neighbor, neighbor, I said pray. I said, I said pray. pray. Become a pray. Or become, become a pray. pray. My God. When we talk about pray, mm. there's a P-R-A-Y. Yes. Which has to deal with communication. Yes. Supplication. Yes. Amen. Bless God. Communing, fellowshipping with God. Yes. Talking to him. And it's not just talking to him, but it's listening to him. It's not just, amen, bless God, a monologue, but it's a dialogue. To where, amen, not only am I communicating with God, but he's communicating with me. Pray. It means to entreat, to beseech. Are you listening to me today? Hallelujah. It means, amen, to supplicate. And it builds relationship. Because when one doesn't pray, one doesn't have a relationship. Right. What do you mean? Well, it's like a marriage. See, a lot of folk, amen, bless God, hallelujah, bless God, the reason they don't want to marry because they don't want to commit. Yes. And the reason they don't want to commit because it's easy for me to just be with somebody, lay with somebody, uh -huh. amen, and get up when I want to. Come on now, say it. And God said that's the way people do in the church. Uh. They deal with me as if, amen, bless God, they're dealing with whoredom. Wow. See, when you're dealing with a whore, when you're dealing with a prostitute, hallelujah, bless God, the only thing you do is pay them. You ain't got to talk to them. You ain't got to do nothing to them. I'm paying you to take care of my business. And once it's over, I'm out of here. Yeah. Wow. 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 My God, my God. Preach. Preach. God said that's the way the people, many of them deal with me. Yeah. They don't have relationship. Jesus. They don't have communication. Jesus. They want the blessings of the Lord that make it rich. Yeah. They want to jump. They want to buck. They want to shout. They want to do gorilla flip. And they want to do cheetah stops. But they don't want commitment because prayer is commitment. Right. Prayer is spiritual marriage. That's right. That's wow. That's right. Spiritual right. marriage. Yeah. Preach. Preach. I said, what are you saying? He said, pray. Prayer is the lifeline of the believer. It's the umbilical cord between God and man. Just coming in this meeting here, looking wonderful, jumping and shouting, running around the church. He don't care about you with a Bible so big that you got to have two or three bullets help you bring it up in here. He don't care what kind of auxiliary you're on or not. The devil is after something. He is a hit man. I say, God, what are you saying? He said, well, first of all, if they don't pray, they will become a prey. P-R-E-Y. What do you mean a prey? Well, in the natural realm. Somebody said to me the other day, they said, man of God, somebody's stalking me. Somebody's stalking me. That means they're following after me. They're watching my moves. They are sitting back and calculating. Amen. When I come in and when I come out, they're calculating what I do, what I don't do. They're calculating. Amen. It makes me nervous. Hallelujah. Because, amen, they follow me as I'm driving down the road. Hallelujah. They're stalking me. Are you listening to me today? natural than spiritual in the natural realm. Amen. Bless God. You got, amen. Bless God. Animals. Hallelujah. That literally watch other animals just to see how weak they are. To see how vulnerable they are. Oh to get them away from the pack. To get them away from, amen, the safety zone of being encompassed about those that are stronger than themselves. Are you listening to me today up in here? See, some of you right now, you don't understand. 
again. What the enemy's done done, he done pulled you away from the safety zone. Some of you right now, you done got away from your place that you used to be in. And now you're doing everything you want to do. And you don't understand what you're setting yourself up to do. You're setting yourself up for trouble. You're setting yourself up to be, amen, bless God, taken out of here. I believe why you looking like a space cadet at me. Hey. Let me tell you something.
you open, prayer puts you in a position that he that dwelleth in the secret place shall attack under the shadow of the Almighty. I'll say of the Lord, he's my refuge, he's my rock, he's my fortress, he's my God, and him shall I trust. I will I shall not be afraid of the terror by day, nor the noise of passing in my night. Hallelujah, the arrows that fly by noonday of times to fall from a side. Shady Grove, 
said, God, what are you saying? He said, many of them are giving the devil access legally to him. I said, what are you saying? He said, because I told you, I need you to come of your own fruition. Whosoever will, let him come. Let him come. So what, the, what many of us do, we give the devil legal access to trap in our life. Mm. What are you saying? Whenever a man sows a seed into a woman, she has a baby. Amen. Legally, Bishop, legally, that man has a legal right mm -hmm. to see his baby. That's right. Say amen. Amen. Because that's his seed. seed. You understand? Well, when you entertain dark seeds, mm. you wonder why you throwing oil all over the doorposts and can't get rid of the devil. Mm -hmm. You wonder why you ain't been blessed God things in all kinds of, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And you ain't doing nothing but just making a slippery interest. Mm -hmm. And you frustrated and aggravated because it's still there. I'm going to show you why. Because see, the fruit is in the root. Help us, God. So you dealing with a seed. So now the enemy knows, amen, bless God. Around you all the time because the devil is not omnipresent, he's not omnipotent, and he's not omniscient. But what the devil does, what he does is bless God, he sows a seed in you. Oh. And when he sowed that seed in you, keep there. When he sowed that seed in you, he knows I ain't got to be around you. Uh -huh. I ain't got to be around you mm -hmm, mm -hmm. all the time. You know why? You got some belong to me. Yes, yes, yes. And I got the legal right. Uh -huh. Amen. To come back yeah. and visit Jesus. my baby. Touch your name and say, who's your baby's daddy? Who's your baby's daddy? Come on, somebody. Say, who's your baby's daddy? Get up on your feet. Say, neighbor. Neighbor. on the sea. On the inside of you. Touch him. Don't be scared. Who's your baby's daddy? Hallelujah, hallelujah. You won't even have 
to change your mind about stuff, but being in God's presence yes. will change your mind. Thank you, Father. Thank you. What you didn't have strength to do in and of yourself, up under the umbrella of anointing, you will be empowered to do exceeding great Thank you. 